So the move towards electrification, you know, is, is upon us. It's here now. And some manufacturers have done much better than others. And it seems to be the car world has done really well and they seem to be embracing it all. Whereas the, the, the motorcycle world seems to be dragging its heels a little bit. But that's not to say that some have done really well. So like Harley Davidson, BMW and Triumph have all brought out very nice bikes. And I've spent quite a lot of time on a Harley Davidson with my friend Ewan going up through uh, South America and all the way up to Los Angeles. So, um, so the question that you get asked a lot about motorcycles is, you know, what's the difference between electric and, and petrol? And, 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 you know, if you want a real motorbike, you've got to be on a petrol engine. And I don't think that that's quite true. I think that electric bikes and petrol bikes have their place. They're both as good as each other, but neither of them are better than each other. Um, they obviously have different different abilities, but there's something about electric that is really nice and you should give it a go, is that you have a little bit of a, a very different connection. It's not better, it's not worse, but a different connection with the road. So you don't have that vibration, you 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 don't have that sense of, 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 of the screaming engine, you just have that connection and the noise of the road and you feel connected to it. And that's, I think, part of the difference. Now, all these other manufacturers have different bikes, and this is what we're going to have a look at today, is this BMW. Welcome to the first of our new motorcycle review with me, Charlie Borman. We're going to be talking about the BMW CEO4, and we're going to do it all on Auto EV. <laughs> So the scooter market seems to be booming and it makes sense when you think about it, if you're commuting every day in and out of work, to have an electric bike is absolutely, is a no brainer really. And, but there are lots of different types and depends on how much you have to commute. So this bike really starts to be more of a sort of from the Surrey Hills into, into London and back again. You could quite easily do that and it handles very well um, on the open road and, and on the M25 or wherever you're going. So it's a great bike. It has lovely styling and it fits in that market. If you need something else, which is just town, then there are a lot of other bikes that would fit that market. So styling, now this BMW has plenty of it. As you can see, it looks beautiful, it looks very futuristic, um, it, but it's really built really well. And, and with real thought, it's got twin discs on the front, a single on the back, it's belt drive. I love the fact that it's got a mono swing arm on the back and you can see the whole back wheel, looks beautiful. The batteries are really low, so it gives a really easy feel to it. You can filter through traffic really nicely. Um, the screen is yummy and gorgeous it looks a bit like an iphone and you want to sort of touch and caress it a little bit the the i would say the only downside that i've had about the styling is the seat position for me is a little is a little uncomfortable but you get used to that um but yeah i think it looks really nice it's i maybe it's a little marmite some people like it some people don't i don't know i like it so a few nice little neat um uh, features it has. It has some nice storage. So you've got one here where you can either store your, your cables or, or a helmet, which is very nice. It has another little storage here as well, which is pretty good. So whatever you need to do in there, obviously easy access for the, for the charging. Um, yeah, and you can as well happily get a passenger on here very easily. So the screen is really nice. It has that kind of iPad kind of feel to it. It's, it's quite easy to, uh, to maneuver around. So you have the mode buttons which show up here, which setting that you're that you're in, eco, rain, road, or dynamic. Um, and then it tells you how much charge you have, uh, how much regen you do. So all the normal features with that. The other side at um, BMW have a have a roll on the handlebar so you can go through your functions. So the, there's a menu function here and you can roll through navigation, uh, music, you can connect your phone, all different settings. Um, so that is all very easy to, uh, to use. Um, and then as if you want to get going, it's pretty simple. You just hold the front brake or the left brake and you press go and then you're ready to roll.
great thing about electric motors is that you get 100% power straight away. So this bike will do 0 to 30 in almost 2.6 seconds, which is pretty quick, and uh, 0 to 60 in nine seconds. So it's not bad. Um, it has, I think, 40 two or 44 brake horsepower, which is pretty good as well. So, you know, it's not slow. Whew. I must say it is so nice to be out on two wheels. Doesn't matter what it is. Today I'm riding the BMW CEO4, uh, which is BMW's new electric scooter. Now, it's a very cool looking bike. It's a very modern looking bike. Um, it, it rides really well. It handles very well. The battery is placed in really down low so it's it doesn't feel heavy which is lovely it has great acceleration um, this particular model has four different modes so you've got eco rain road and dynamic and dynamic is an extra option um, which gives you full power um, very nice uh, the display and screen and everything is very nice when you're riding the seating position takes a little bit of time to get used to um, but the more I ride it, the more I like it. BMW tried the C Evolution, which was back in 2014. And I don't know if the world wasn't ready for electric bikes yet or not, but it didn't do so well. So this is a reload. And I think they've done a really, really nice job. I have to say, I very much like riding this bike. I'll tell you what, a really nice feature to this bike. I really love it. It's little little R button just here and you press it and then you accelerate and you go backwards and to get out of those difficult situations So it has an 8.9 kilowatt hours battery, which is mounted very low on the bike to give it a good balance. Um, it has a range of around 80 miles, which is not too bad. So the charging point is here. Um, you can, uh, if you have access to a, to a seven kilowatt charger or two phase, it's one hour and 40 minutes to charge to full. If you plug it in at home to a wall charger, it is four hours, 40, four hours, 20. So now let's talk about price. This bike starts at around 12,000 pounds, which is a little pricey, but you know, there's a lot of it. Um, but if you want the dynamic and the other bits and pieces, it heads up to about 14,000 pounds. Now that is about 5,000 pounds more expensive than its equivalent. So uh, it is a little pricey, but it is built very nicely. If you want to compare the CEO4 to another bike, you would compare it to the Yamaha T-Max Tech Max. So here are a few things that I like about this bike. I love the styling, I love the acceleration, and I love the look. Um, the things that maybe I'm not so comfortable with is the, the seating position. Um, maybe that's just, I just need to get used to it, uh, and, and the price. So I suppose the overall feeling about this bike, well, I like it. I, I like the styling. It's a head turner. People want to know what it's about. Um, it's good through traffic. Uh, it, it charges pretty easily. It has good range. Yeah, I, I like the whole thing. I think, um, would I buy one? I'm not sure for the price. If it was a bit cheaper, then definitely. Well, thank you very much for uh, watching this review of this bike on um, Auto EV. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please um, leave notes and, and, and comments, um, good or bad, uh, on the YouTube channel. And if, please don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel either. And you can watch loads of other reviews of cars and all sorts of stuff. And don't forget to press the little bell button so that uh, you can get your notifications and all that kind of stuff. There's plenty to see on the um, Auto EV channel. So um, uh, spend as much time as you like on it. And, uh, and if you do like it, if you do want to see more of the motorcycle um, uh, reviews, then let us know and, and maybe we'll do some more. Anyway, take care. Enjoy and uh, see you again. So, you've watched our video. It's now my job to tell you to like and subscribe and press the little bell button to receive notification of when our next video is uploaded.